We want to keep it light. Bettina Delinsek is used to going hard at the gym. She's used to elite athletic competitions, but she's never climbed 165 feet up the side of a building. That's just what she plans to do Saturday in the Sky Race held in Des Moines, and she'll do it all without the benefit of eyesight. I honestly don't see it any different than you scaling the building next to me. Because I, I honestly don't. I just look at it as, you know, we're doing the same thing. We have the same capabilities. I don't need to see to go up the building. You don't need to see to go up the building. She will be one of 10 athletes to scale the 17-story LC apartments. She says CrossFit competitions motivated her to show what she can do. A lot of people always tell you all your life you can't. And when I found a sport that I could participate in and do it exactly like everybody else did with no modifications, I thought, there, there you go, that's something I want to continue doing. She might be on the 10th floor and she's essentially going to be doing leg lifts. Joe Hogan is helping her train for this moment. He's the founder of Train to Inspire, a Des Moines nonprofit which aims to make the impossible a reality for people with disabilities. It's really amazing to have somebody that's been told their entire life that, hey, you can't or you shouldn't. And then we come in and we say, yes, you can, and we show them that. Delinsek is ready to show herself and others that a 17-story building is just another obstacle she can overcome. I'm going to keep going. I mean, I don't see any reason to stop. In Des Moines, Andrew Mullenbeck, KCZI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.